Today we are going to show you how to prep the patient's skin for surgery with betadine scrub and paint. After opening your prep tray and getting everything sterilely prepared, put tuck, tuck uh, drapes on either side of your prep site to absorb any extra prep solution so that it doesn't pool and burn the patient's skin or create a fire hazard from uh, the Bobi. Separate your sponges. Make sure that you keep your betadine paint and betadine scrub in separate areas. All while maintaining the sterile field. So today we're just doing the chest. Start at the incision site, which in this case will be the sternum or middle of the chest. With the betadine scrub, you use a scrubbing action working from the incision site out to the periphery in small circles. After each sponge reaches the periphery, you'll dispose of it like you saw Melissa do. You always prep from clean areas to dirty areas. Once the betadine scrub portion of the prep has been completed, take a dry towel and blot off the prep. Do not rub, just blot. And then to remove your blotting towel, watch Melissa's perfect technique. Pull away, making sure not to drag any dirty edges over the prep please area. Call and we move on to the betadine paint. Once again, starting at the incision site and working your way out to the periphery. the betadine paint portion of the prep is done. That's the end of your prep. You must allow the betadine to dry. We carefully remove our drip towels, making sure not to contaminate the prepped area. And then once the betadine has been allowed to dry, we are done. We may drape. Thank you.